Hello everybody and welcome to a special edition of my pickup videos. Uh, I was supposed to have this up on Monday, got busy yesterday too. I was gone for the weekend, so uh, kind of had a little vacation. So uh, let's get on with this. First thing we're going to start off with is the DVDs and Blu-rays. First one is going to be a DVD. I picked it up at the dollar store. It's Ultraman Series 1 Volume 2. I'm looking for Volume 1 at the moment. Uh, I ordered it off of Amazon, then they refunded my money because they didn't have it anymore. So, uh, yeah. Never watched this. Looking forward to watching it. Uh, reminds me of more or less of Godzilla and those things. So, I'm a big Godzilla fan. Uh, next one was a special Amazon offer. It was Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Uh, usually priced at $15. It's a dig digibook. Um... <coughs> and I got it for 10, 10 for this, so <sighs> I was happy to get that. Uh, mastered in 40k, 4k, that type of deal. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, might watch this one, this one day soon. Uh, I got three Blu rays for $10. Uh, I go to a pawn shop, and that's how much they are. Three for 10, so I picked them up. Uh, first one I got was Silent Hill. Uh, didn't have this on Blu-ray yet, and I'm so glad I got it. Upgrade from mine. Uh, I like these movies, even though they're based off video games. I didn't compare them towards that, so. Uh, next one is a remake of The Stepfather. Uh, I kind of like this movie. I wasn't, I was surprised about it and everything. So, uh, uh, when I seen it there for that price, I picked it up. And also, the... My Bloody Valentine's is the original cut. Um, this is the one from the 80s, I believe. Yeah, 81. A pretty good movie. I was actually surprised when I watched this. Um, so when I seen it, I said, oh, I'm going to pick it up. Uh, it's been a while since I watched it, so added it into my collection. I do have the remake, so getting the original is better, uh, good, too. Also got one Disney Infinite figure. He was 10 when they were on sale. So I picked them up. It was Ultron, the Marvel series of Ultron from the 3.0. I'm um, going to try to pick up the rest of the Marvel ones. If they come on sale again, like I think there's Black Spider-Man, um, a couple of other ones. Uh, while I was hunting around and cleaning stuff up with my my mother uh, at, her, at her place, I forgot I had the box for this game, and when I seen it, I got all excited. And it's the Illusion of Gaia uh, Super Nintendo box. Doesn't have the manual or anything. It has the in white insert inside, but nothing else. Uh, if anybody has the manual or anything like that, please let me know. Uh, we can work on a trade or something. Um, I was happy to see this because I forgot all about it that I ever even had it. <laughs> it's pretty glad I shouldn't do these videos so early. Um, two Game Boy Advance games. One is Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness and Pac-Man World on the Game Boy Advance. Hard to see there. And March of the Penguins. I paid a dollar a piece for these. So, I was happy to pay that. I paid, uh, six something for this one. I can't remember the price exactly. It's Rugrats Time Travelers on the Game Boy Color. This is Box and Complete. Uh, usually, if it's under $10, I'll pick up Box and Complete Game Boy games, Game Boy Color. Our Game Boy Advance game because they're getting harder and harder to find. Um, so yeah, it looks like a little fun little platformer. He plays all the Rugrats. <coughs> That's why I picked it up. I paid five dollars for this one. It's Harvest Moon DS for the DS. <laughs> just got that. Um, just your basic Harvest Moon game. I'm not much into Harvest Moon, so. I think this will be the, probably the first one I play because I never owned any of the other ones. Uh, I got two PS Vita games here. I got Lego Ninjago Shadow of Ronin. Uh, my cousin's playing this one at the current moment. So that's why it's not in there at the moment. <laughs> so once he's done that, it'll be put back in my collection. Uh, it's just a Lego game. I'm, I love the Lego game, so of course I had to pick it up. Uh, got that one free off of Amazon my money then my cousin uh, donated this one into my collection it's Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition 
he knows I'm trying to get as many PS PS Vita games as I can. So after he was done playing this one, he handed it over to me. And like he said, he could play it anytime he wants. He stays here, so um, so yeah. Just uh, your basic fighting game. I heard a lot of bad things about that copy uh, from other YouTubers, but uh, until I try it out for myself, I'll keep an ear out for that. I paid a dollar. Uh, I think it was a dollar or two dollars for this one. It's Power Move Pro Wrestling. Uh, this is just a basic wrestling game on the PlayStation One. Uh, mostly wrestlers based, I think, on from New Japan type deal. I think so. I don't know, it doesn't say anything, but uh, I believe there's or it's just generic wrestlers, I can't remember. I never played it yet, so. Uh, this game was free from uh, Amazon. I ordered it with my Swagbucks money uh, just to get another PS2 game I didn't have for dirt cheap. It was Ford Racing 2, so I didn't have this in my collection, so I figured I'll pick it up and then uh, put it in there. Uh, next two games are PlayStation 4 games. Uh, first one is Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. Paid ten dollars for this. Uh, I think it's as complete as it's gonna get because nowadays they don't make manuals. Um, so I picked up that one. I do have it on other systems. Just uh, I wanted it on PS4 too. And then I got The Witcher Tree Wild Hunt. Heard a lot of great things about this game, and it comes with a slipcover, a uh, game manual. Then when you open it up like this, you have all a bunch of other things in there. Uh, soundtrack, everything like that. Uh, pretty cool. I was happy to have this. I only paid ten dollars for it too, so I was like, right on. Yeah, I get some awesome deals sometimes. <laughs> so uh, that's my pickups for this week. I uh, will have another one up Sunday. I shouldn't be too busy by Sunday. So you all uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you want to follow me on the on Twitter, it's at Chase Man Gamer. And if you want to play with me on the PlayStation Network, it's M underscore C A. SE666, and I had almost anybody. I haven't been on in a couple days, so uh, if anybody had me from last week. And that's about it. So you just, uh, I'll take her easy. Spread the word to be a gamer.